Game Over 86 coming back with another video today, guys. And today, this Monday, New Year's pretty much Eve. And I hope you guys will have a wonderful New Year's. I will be back again showing another video Wednesday and Friday. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys had a great weekend as well. But today, I said I was going to be reviewing the NES Classic Joy-Con controllers that you get literally for having a one year subscription. So let's go ahead and check out the video of the So as you can see, this, the NES Classic Controller, I am going to unbox and then I'm gonna hook it up uh, on the Joy-Cons on the Nintendo Switch. We're gonna take a look at it, how it plays classic games, classic NES titles on the online service that Nintendo provides for us. So right now I'm just going to be unboxing this for everybody to finally see. And I just want to say these are $70 and this counts the shipping and the tax and you have to go through their service. Like I said you have to have a one year subscription service to um, order these but this is what it looks like they connect they link and, and and I gotta say one thing these literally are the same as the classic controllers these um, the d-pad all the buttons they're pretty much identical and the same the only difference is these are tri-wing nuts screws I mean and the other ones were Phillips head but other than that besides the wireless part it's pretty much identical to a classic controller they even everything sounds pretty much the same and even you know a b a b up down up down left right left right slice start all that stuff guys everything it's pretty solid the weight is a little bit different than the classic joy con but that's pretty much the unboxing it looks pretty uh, pretty nice pretty solid I do like that the uh, L and R up here as well but as you guys can see the controller is pretty much identical to the classic controller now we are going to connect these to the switch and I forgot to mention this in the video but as you guys can see there's little arrows that are pointing down that tells you which side of the controller goes on what so we are going to connect these like so connect these like so pull the switch out and it does look really goofy if you ask me I think like just setting it in there like so I understand they can charge but as you guys can see it does look pretty goofy uh, maybe some people like it maybe some people don't that's still to be determined but as you guys can tell all the buttons everything let me go ahead and turn this on okay a you can still move around it, it literally is the same as if you would so if you push up even though that's the side button it goes up or down I'm sure the a button yes selects wins and all that other stuff um, right now we're not going to be playing Mario Party. We're going to be checking out some of these games with the classic Joy-Con controllers. So let's go ahead and get that started. As you guys can see, the controller, everything is wireless, which does make it pretty handy if you have a larger living room, bedroom, if you want to lay on your bed, whatnot. But I do think overall it is a handy thing to have when you do have kids running around you don't have to worry about them tripping over cords so let's go ahead and just look at some of their games obviously obviously I haven't logged on for a while as you can see they got some new games that came so we'll go ahead and just play a little bit of Ninja Gaiden to start it off with <laughs> and I need to remind you guys at the end of the video something very important about this if you guys are looking to buy these 
Wait till the end of the video and I will tell you a little bit more about this stuff. But we'll go ahead and play and see how the lag is, the, the latency, the delay. Um, still you can push the L and R's to suspend. Obviously you can push B to go back. We're going to play a little bit of Ninja Gaiden real quick. Now, I haven't played this for a while, but it is one of the uh, better games, if you ask me, that has been released in quite some time. Above all else, I think, honestly, most of the latency is pretty much on po point with the NES Classic controller for your... NES Classic. I don't see any really problems with this. The jumping, the budding, uh, the buttons, the slashing, everything feels pretty smooth. It feels like the legit original game. Above all else, I think honestly it's a good, you know, solid product. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played Ninja Gaiden. I'm looking like a sponge probably to some people. Ah, I hate that part. There we go. Yeah, I need to get better, I guess. This is one game that I've always appreciated playing back in the night uh in the early 90s when I got it on the NES original. Very fun game. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, I keep hitting that. That's that 8-bit style of game. Wow, he's kicking my ass. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's called Mike Tyson's Knockout. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get into a different game real quick because I don't want to just bore you guys with one game. Let's go ahead and go to back to game selection and... Let's play something a little bit easier. You know, something that I think is okay to test out for the D-pad, the buttons as well. Because a lot of these games are always going to run good. Especially if it's a Nintendo quality product like this. Alright. Well, I just started where I was getting dominated. So I'm playing pretty fast. one of them games, you know. Uh, honestly, it's it's pretty fun. Now, honestly, I'm not trying to just do everything perfect. I'm just trying to see how the buttons all work. But as far as I can tell, they work pretty fluently. And I know a lot of people have already done a review on this. And uh, I know that they like the, the controller, too. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and talk about how the end, what I think about this product fully, and what I think you guys really need to hear about this product going forward if you do decide to buy this. So the question is, would I recommend this product? And I'm going to give you two different scenarios on why I would and then why I wouldn't. For the simple fact, for quality build and for wireless connection, a solid Nintendo brand. I would refer this if you guys had a lot of kids, um, if you didn't want anybody to trip over cords and whatnot, and also if you guys like laying down or having that, you know, that wireless capability to where it's comfortable for you, you don't have to worry about dealing with any other cables or adapters, I would recommend this. On the uh, opposite side, the price is $70, and that's also including your year-end subscription which is twenty dollars so honestly you could be paying up to 90 bucks just to receive these and a lot of people are selling them online obviously i've seen them for 120 bucks and up but the question is is how bad do you really want to play your nes classic controllers on a joy con now i did a review recently on a from 8-bit dough on a G Bros wireless adapter and it also has GameCube controller adapter and it also ha or a, a extension piece and it has a NES controller classic for your extension so you could plug in your classic controller if you guys have a mini classic 
or also guys when they be when they will be dropping the Super NES Classic it, for people that bought the SNES Classic Mini you get two controllers these all work with the 8 bit though G Bros adapter and this also is good for smash if you're just a single person going to be playing at your house by yourself or if you want to just hook this up to the cable literally you could hook this up in this it'll send the wireless signal you could still lay in your bed pretty comfortably um, it also has the home button um, <clears throat> it has the stuff where you can hook it up to the switch or your PC it has all the stuff that you need for the price I would go with the $10 or $25 if you have to buy it on somewhere like eBay. But if you can still find them in stores, I'd buy this for 10 bucks. And if you haven't got an NES Classic or a Super NES um, Classic, I recommend getting that because this is $20. This is $10 if you can find this for that. Um, if you can't, we're talking $35 right here for this rather than these two items right here is 70 alone. So... Um, the other thing I want to say besides this one, because I already talked about that, the plus with this one is, is like I said, the price already. The bad thing is, is you do have to buy one of these adapters. Now, if you buy two of these controllers and you can get them for 10 bucks, we're looking literally right now at $40 for all this. And then you pay $20 for your year subscription, or even if you don't have a year subscription, it don't matter what you pay but you would equal still 60 bucks for your year subscription and you would be able to play and your friend would be able to play with you at home, your wife, your kid, your husband's, whatever. But if you wanted to play your GameCube and just play by yourself, you also have that as an attachment as well when you play your Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on the Nintendo Switch, which is still a really good deal. I know a lot of people are going to go wired in. Um, with the adapter that they just sold, the four plug adapter for $20 as well. You could do that as well for your GameCube. But with the um, NES Classic Joy-Con style chargeable wireless controllers, it is really good quality, but for the price, I would not recommend you guys buying the $70 controllers. There are better options out there. But I want to know what you guys think. Have you guys already got these in? Have you wanted to wait to see the reviews on them? Um, what would, what do you guys think? What do you think Nintendo should have just sold these outright instead of keeping them kind of like behind, you know, in a way paywall where you have to pay the year subscription just to purchase these? Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this. I'll leave a link to this video as well if you guys want to watch that. And I'll put that right over here. And let me know what you guys think of the whole controller prices if you guys are going to get these instead of the uh 8-bit though g bros adapter i would suggest that one first if you guys are hardcore and want to collect i see why you're getting this but above all else guys i hope you enjoy the video i hope you guys enjoy the review i hope you guys have a safe and happy new year i know i'm gonna have one with my wife and my kids i will see you guys back wednesday and friday with some more videos some possible game rants game reviews game news I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy new year. And like I said, I'll leave a link to this video if you guys want to see me do a review on this. I did earlier in the year, um, and I'll put it up right over here in the corner or wherever. And also, if you guys want to go purchase this, I'll leave a link down to Amazon where you can buy these as well. $20 ain't bad price if you ask me. It's a lot more uh, cheaper than going the expensive route for the $70 controllers. Anyway, I love you very much. Stay safe. Do a good deed, guys. Take care of one another. And always, always have fun gaming whenever you do, with every game you play, no matter what. I'll see you guys later. I love you. Peace.